Sally has parked some way back from the farm and is snooping her way on foot along the fence line. The fences are high, barbed wire along the top. It's like a fort. She's holding the Selkie book and Alice's card, a peace offering. She's attempting to get over the fence to get a better look when she sees a truck approaching the drive. While Sally has been attempting to make contact with young Alice for several months and June's having none of it and just says, nope, it's not happening, no contact. Sally uh, sends a present to Alice for her 10th birthday, a beautiful Selkie book that she used to communicate with Alice's mother, Agnes. So it's special and there are messages in there, secret messages, and she wants Alice to know what they are. And the book is returned to sender without being opened. She just thinks, well, you know, you give me no choice, you leave me no choice, I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna come and find Alice myself. So that's what she does and she turns up at Thornfield unannounced. This scene's a very important scene uh, for Sally as a character who gets more of an insight into what Thornfield is. Throughout the story, Thornfield exists sort of as a pretty a, a mysterious place, a place surrounded by mystery. There are a lot of secrets there, there are um, unknowns, um, but Sally gets a few answers that, that assure her and, and uh, I think it's a point where she um, comes to accept that, yeah, maybe, maybe this is where Alice is going to end up, um, as much as that hurts her. What do you want, Sally? I, I figured because he won't have any normal communication that I... I, I Harry. I'm just trying... I've come... What do you want here? I want to see Alice. Not going to happen. Why? I, I just want to see that she's okay. It's her birthday soon. I, I brought her a present. You need to leave. Is she even talking yet? It's trauma. She's lost her whole family. No, she hasn't. What's it gonna take to make you back off? I don't want anything out of this. I just want what's best for her. And I'm not leaving until I talk to her. I think they're both really vulnerable and they're both really worried that they're gonna lose their grip on on, on Alice and, and her life and being able to guide it and take care of her. Playing this scene with Sigourney was great. It was really fulfilling actually because, and it, and it was a challenge because we're both trying to hold our position and also put on a little front, both of us, Sally and June, but also try and be honest with each other, woman to woman. This is, this is the situation for this little girl and what actually is best for her. Is it best for her to be here in a refuge of women that are, have been traumatised and led very uh, difficult lives? Is that the best place for her to be raised? 